Hey everyone, so in this tutorial you will learn how you can create very fast and easy this ventilation details so you can add them in your own objects and also I will show you how you can create those individual stamps or mockups so you can reuse it in other projects again very fast and easy so let's have a look on that. And if you want to learn more about plasticity and surface modeling, I just launched my new plasticity 3D modeling course in which you will learn with fully narrated step-by-step -step instructions how to model a motorcycle completely from scratch. And not just that, this course will teach you the mental and technical skills to tackle any project that you want, as well as offering you numerous bonus lessons on effective learning strategies and providing you a full introduction into the fundamentals of surface surface modeling with hands-on exercises. So if that's something you're interested in, you can find out more information in the description box below this video. And for now, let's jump in into our tutorial. All right, so let's create this yeah, kind of ventilation shaft or grill with presets. So I just have here like a normal plane and now I will, so first of all, we will create this outer shape here. This one, very simple, we just create the center circle and just snap here to the edge and just drag here along the edge. So you can play around with the size and all that kind of stuff, but that should work pretty fine. Okay, and now we want to extrude the face. So select the blue face and extrude this. So this will be then our length. And now what we wanna do, we want to create those smooth uh, corners here. So you can just select both edges and fillet them a little bit. And if you press shift, and select this face, bam, you get the absolute perfect rounding here. So this is exactly what we want, okay. And we just need one quarter. So we will again go to the front view, create an edge, snap here along that edge to the center and just go up so it's 90 degrees. And with this curve, bam, we will cut into our surface. So we just have one quarter and the three quarter we will delete as well as the curve. Perfect, so now you see already, we are getting what we want. And now go to object mode here and select our main object and our little detail here and QQ. And yeah, now I will just show you such a cool trick how we can do that so, so simply. Now let's create here this hole here to make it believable. And yeah, I will just show you such a cool trick. It's so easy. Uh, so yeah, you can, so when this is Boolean, so this is one object, <laughs> what we just can do is we select this face here and go here to hollow is solid. And then you see here, we can either make everything thicker or we can make it everything thinner. And that's basically what we want. So press okay, give it a little bit of a thickness. And now we just have a little bit here of a face that we don't want. So just select the face and bam, just drag that down and <laughs> Guys, that's, look, this is so amazing. And yeah, so, but we are not done yet. Let's give it here a nice little smooth fillet. So we get a little bit of the smoothing. And yeah, so it's a little bit too big, but that's fine for the tutorial. And now what we wanna do is, okay, so maybe you're asking now, okay, if I need like 10 pieces here, do I have to do that 10 times? Of course not you wouldn't be here on this Nikita Kapustin tutorial channel if I wouldn't show you how you can really implement that in your workflow. What you want to do is you want to select those three inner faces and shift D to duplicate them and press point to isolate it. And now we will create as two pieces. One piece will be which we will subtract from our main object and one which we will add. So yeah, just let me explain. Let's just create this here into a solid. So create a line, shift A and just go here from edge and, po and edge endpoint to edge endpoint. Perfect. Edge mode, select this whole loop here around and press shift three or uh, patch holds. So search here for patch. And okay, delete the curve. And now the same, press two, alt click to select the loop and search for F and patch. I have it on shift three to close our gap here. Awesome. Now press point again to go back to the view and select this middle piece here. And this we will call subtract. You will see in a second why. 
and just hide it for a second now. And now we just want this piece here at the top. So we go to the front and yeah, very simple. We just create an edge uh, line from on along this edge here and just see and cut again here our body. Press OK, delete the curve. So we have this piece here extra, right? So this is exactly what we want with the fillet without rebuilding everything 10 times. And let's just get rid of all of, of those lines. So object mode, select that and search for F delete redundant topology. I have it on control D, so bam, control D, everything is clean. And this piece we just call, I don't know, add. Okay, so why did we do that? Everything. So now you can just select here the subtract and add and you go, for example, to the top view and you go here to the rectangular array, right? And yeah, let's just create 10 and now you can adjust it yeah, to, to what you need, right? So press OK. And now, guys, this is, I don't know, it's 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 amazing. It's, it's so fun what I came up here uh, up with for you. So now select with shift click all of those ads and control click the plate. So the, the, we add the add things to the plate. So press QQ to Boolean that together. Perfect. So now you see we have all of those things perfectly attached to our plate, but we are missing those holes. So now we will do the same. We will select our plate, select all of those subtracts. So you can also with shift click, but here because this one is extra. So just select all of those subtract and press Q and leave it as is it's here uh, W different. So press OK and bam guys, just add everything QQ and you have your shaft, which you can yeah use in your projects. And if you like this kind of really cool tips and tricks and you wanna learn much more about plasticity, check out first link in the description. I have amazing courses for beginners where I teach you all of those really cool and fast tips and tricks, how to you can create a smartphone, a headphone, sci-fi design, or if you like surface modeling, I have amazing courses where you will learn everything about surface modeling and how to use it in any projects. And I, as, as well as bundle deals, where I just picked up with a little bit of a discount. So check out first link in the description, leave a like and subscribe. And I hope I see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.